Welcome back, everyone, to the Guild of Dungeoneering. Thank you guys so much for the early support on this series. Really appreciate that. Glad you guys are liking it, and we'll keep on going, baby. I've got the the aptitude and the spirit for it. So long as you've got the eyes and ears. This is a very nice song. I didn't even realize this. It's so pleasant. Wonderful. All right, so we've unlocked the apprentice class, which is doing okay. Might do us well to uh, consider unlocking a few more items here. So if we go to the curio shop, we can see that we've got a few items that could potentially show up within the dungeons were we to unlock them. Masquerade Mask is pretty good. A Holy 2 and an Arcane 1 card become available when you equip it. It comes with power! Winged Staff and Masquerade Mask are actually very similar. Troll Femur and Daisy Chain. We'll go ahead and build out the curio shop here. There we go, very nice. Alright, good expansion. Let's go exploring again. Defeat the Rat King. We'll take the apprentice one more time. See if we fare a little better. So, it's Florm again. We're given a corridor which does fit well enough in here, so we might as well do it, and then we'll take on a silly little giant bat. Hopefully, that puts us in a better spot. By Jove! It isn't a giant bat! My favorite of the animal species within these corridors. Is there are only two that I know of. This and the rats. One of which has already killed me. Let's just go for straight up damage. I've seen Loner a couple of times now, but I haven't actually been able to take advantage of it. Although I should pay more attention to that actually now that I think about it. Because I believe what we can do is... Uh, I probably should have saved that attack actually, that was kind of silly. Uh, unblockable damage, but I think he's still gonna drain some health back. He's got an unblockable here of his own. Okay, that ought to do. What I should pay more attention to is the fact that I believe we can see what sorts of, uh, characteristics the enemies have before we put them down. Ooh, there's our Troll Femur. Gives us three really good cards, but a stupidity one as well. Probably worth the trade-off there. So if I look at this closer, there we go. So we see Nasty Rat, which is Feral, and Nature 2. I think we would see if it had any other sort of unique condition, so I suppose that one is just normal. Let's go ahead and lay down a Mysterious Fountain here, just in case... Oh no, I can't do that, it's not connecting right there, of course. I guess we can go like that. I kind of want to go all the way around to potentially get the most out of these fights. Although, unless I can build it out so it... Well, hold on a second here. If I get myself stuck right there, then I can build another room that connects everything here. I'm just gonna have to hope that I get lucky, I guess. See how that works out. And then we'll throw a nasty rat in this room as well. Get a few extra fights, and we'll call that good. The majestic nasty rat. A fine specimen, too. Should not be a problem for Florm. We've got it! Fire shield, rekindle, and sparks. He does have neurotoxin, unfortunately, so I suppose I'll just have to take the damage and try to stay ahead in health as opposed to staying ahead in card advantage. Okay, well, that's that's an easy trade to make. We do have to deal with stupidity one hanging around in our hand for a while, but so long as we keep getting damage, we should be fine. I don't think he's going to be an issue. There we go. Took him down. All right, that was, uh, that was a rough series of events there. The troll femurs... Kind of backfriar... backfriaring. It's a bad frying utensil. And this is a really terrible loot selection as well, so I guess I'm just going to be taking some gold, because I don't want to replace my troll femur just yet. Ah, gold coin, okay. Let's see, we've only got... Hmm. I think I have to wait another turn just so he doesn't immediately force me to go up in this direction, so I very, mo I very well might just go like that and that. That is a mysterious fountain. Let's see what we get here. Nice. Fountain of Clairvoyance. Monster gains predictable next fight, so that'll help us out as soon as we get up to the level 2 guys. More specii. Is that a word? Perhaps we can renovate that worn down old guild with this. What, what is that word? Does that mean gold? My lexicon cannot handle any further expansion. I am already freaking stuffing the rafters, man. Alright, that was a pretty good play there. We just have pretty much magic damage going through, so I guess we'll just fire shield. Apprentice is not terrific in this dungeon. I think we might be better off with something a little bit more melee heavy. 
Or at least something that is able to block a lot of melee attacks. So the Apprentice is probably not what we're looking for coming through here. Alright, Shift is not bad. I like Restore. It's pretty good. In fact, I think we'll take that. Worth adding to the deck. A little bit of extra money there, too. Not bad. Alright, we got the room we were looking for, so let's go ahead and set this up like that. Or, no, actually, then again, we can just wait one more time. We do have the Fountain of Clairvoyance coming through high here. Yeah, I think I'll wait on that. Let's add a Mysterious Fountain to that. On the off chance that we end up in that direction. It's a Fountain of Power. Oh, boy. Probably not going to end up going that way. We'll just go ahead and end turn here. I don't think I want to add a level 1 monster to this room. More nasty, that's simply dreadful. I think I'd rather add a level 2 enemy to this room if I can, just because we're already looking for some higher level stuff. We are one heart ahead of this guy, so so long as we're dealing equal damage. Ooh, look at this. Land that and go back up to full health. I love that move. We're going to hang on to this quick damage. We're going to go with the sparks because the other is going to make us... Oh, we made us discard that. Darn. All right. Well, hopefully we get one more damage point coming from this last card. It's going to be an intuition. All right. Well, should still be okay. Should get at least one point of damage through with this. There we go. Well done. We get perhaps an offhand. We do. We get the wooden stool, which is another stupidity card. We were better with the cuppa. Cup of fire! Two quick magic damage. I think that'll work. We'll take it. Boy! Oh, that mean squeak! I believe him. Sounds like a rat to me. No 4x4 four four room or 2x2 two two if you want to go with math. Who needs it? So no luck there. I think I'm going to have to wait on this again. I might just do that. Just for the fun of it. Fountain of Knowledge. Wow, we're getting really lucky with our fountains here. This never used to happen in finishing school. First you take beginning school, then you take middle school, and then you take finishing school. That's how the public school system has worked for years. It shan't stop now. Easy choice there, keeping the two very powerful spells in hand. Sparks is not bad. I think I'd rather do a Fire Blast. Keeps us pretty far ahead. He does have Fury now, so we gotta be worried about that. But at the same time, I think I'm gonna kill him with a Flame Lash. There we go. Very good. Okay. The head is not bad. Although it does... Uh, actually, that's terrible. Wow. <laughs> Daisy Jane is just some straight-up health. Cooking Pot would take away Restore, but give me two very good spells in its place. I think I'll take those, actually. Not bad. We're upgrading here. Alright, so we're probably heading this way. We don't get the room again, unfortunately, but we can put a corridor down here. And I think I ought to do that, more than likely. Although I would like for it to build a room this way, I don't think I'm going to get that opportunity. So let's go ahead and throw a Nolan in here. And that way we know we are getting what we want. Dulce et the economist pro patria mori, as they say. Roughly translated, that means I once ate the belly of a humpback whale. It was very nutritious and certainly delicious. All right, that's unblockable. We'll go with a bash, I guess. I'd like to keep both of those quick attacks if I can. They're both quite nice. Ooh, okay, so this is going to get us down to two hard territory, and that's where Flame Lash is going to kick in and kick his booty. Very good. Okay, give me some shoes? Is what I need? Oh, no, I need a body. I got an option there. Tattered mail for extra health and repel. That's not great. My options aren't very good, though, so I suppose I better have one body part at least. Let's drop it. Ooh, a massive gem. It's quite nice. All right, that'll do it. I think we'll be pretty prepared for this. P, -p, 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 -p words. Okay, got extra health, but I got all these stupidity cards I'm going to have to deal with, and there's one of them. Let's block his damage and get three through with the smash. That's a great start. But now he's immediately, uh, immediately got fury. So I'm gonna have to worry about that. Although we do have the flame lash available now, so he's gone. Love having that in the hand at any point. It's quite nice. All right, we're not gonna be improving our offhand, I don't think. Nor are we gonna be improving too much else. The club literally loses me two cards, including the smash, which I'd very much like to keep. So I guess we're just taking some gold here. 
All right, this is as good as it's going to get, and we get a gold patch at the end of the mission here, too. See if we can make this work. I'm ready. Time to take down the Rat King one more time. Let's do it, Florm. You got a heart of advantage on him. You got this. It's the head blow. We start with a bash, but we have two of our stupidity cards in hand, which is very bad. I think I'm going to drop a stupidity card here and hang on to the flame lash and hope that I can use that later. At least discard this now. Okay, ignite is amazing. That's one magic damage immediately and one magic damage per round for the rest of the game. Anger's going to kill him, actually. Well, flame lash, anger will take down a heart and then fire will kill him. Very good. All right, the Rat King has been defeated. I'm not sure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guild come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. Good rhyme. Good rhyme. The trophy room! Woohoo! Caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked. It's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Reflect, reflect upon the cutting off of a rat's tail in way of telling your own tale is what I meant by that. The Talisman of the Warrior. I think I'm going to go ahead and unlock a new character class if I can, actually. How about the Cat Burglar? This looks like fun. The Hidden Den of the Cat Burglar. Up until now, we've all had some fun. And you could say you've come very far. But brace yourself. Whoop! Oh god, we cut him off. Whoops! What's this? There's more. A whole world to explore. Why, there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. Ugh. Okay. If I never hear another story about clearing out rats, it won't be too soon. My employees did not return, did return with some interesting rumors from the Rat King. There was mention of a magic orb. An orb of nosiness. It's exactly the kind of thing I could use to keep an eye on the Ivory League. I'll need all the help I can get if I'm going to take them down a peg. The rumors point to more dungeons out in the grasslands. I'll search there first. Ha! <laughs> what am I saying? I'm not setting foot in that place! That's what I have chumps for. And if they don't want to do it, there's plenty more who are eager to join a guild. I thought that was a cue. I've also decided that from now on we'll be known as the Guild of Dungeoneering. Either that or the Guild of the Ivory League of Explorers is stupid. I can't decide which will look better on our letterhead. That's the most important decision to make. We start a new business, make sure it's one that looks good in the font that you've already determined is going to be the font for your business. Goblins is adventure number one. A victimless crime, lovely loot available in this dungeon. Number three is Fiery Foray. Scope out Embro's defenses. Let's go with the middle option. It's always good. Now, new class, the Cat Burglar. See how we fare. Ooh. We're starting off. With a hero gains decay next fight in the Fountain of Decay, that's no good. I suppose what we want to do then is just drop that there and then fight a scary spider in this room. Seems like pretty much my only option. Perfect. The <laughs> cat puns. Oh, I love this guy already. So now we have catnip. Next physical attack gets plus one damage, which is the only thing that does. And he's immediately going to be draining life for health. This might not be a good start, although he is frail as well. Incoming and physical attacks get plus one damage. That's pretty good. We're going to let another attack get through and just continue to buff up our strongest attacks here. Although he's got another drain too. Alright, we did four points of damage with that one. We have another throw cat. And then I think with our quick attack on the far end... Oh, we killed him. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's three damage. Okay, that'll work. The ruffled shirt is a shift. Pigeon Nest gives us rekindle. Holy Seal's pretty good. I do like Holy Seal a lot, but Troll Femur... 
Oh man, it's hard to pass up. Getting three cards at the cost of one bad one. You know what? I'm going to take it again. I know I ought not to, but I'm going to take it again. Sadly, I've got the uh, fountain to still deal with here, too. Okay, we're going to go for another scary spider spite. Gold coin. Scary spider spite. That's pretty accurate, too, I guess. Possum? That's a whole different animal, you weirdo. Taking two plus damage in one turn causes one extra damage. Well, at least that's pretty unlikely going up against this guy. Uh, let's see here. Tell you what, I guess we just got to counter his damage and allow him to gain a heart. Oh, no, that's just going to be a trade. Okay. Let's go with the unblockable since he's got a block on this one, and then we'll just take the extra frail bonus. We can block his attack and counter with two, and then that sets us up for the neurotoxin kill. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Let's see if we get something defensive-minded here. The straight jacket is exactly what I was looking for, basically. Fire Blast is cool, but Straight Jacket's probably better. I need a little bit more health going up against these level 2 guys. There's some gold coins. Drop a massive gem and... Oh, we can't do it, actually. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, I can't even drop it in my own room. Oh, no! I missed out on a massive gem! How abysmal. Well, I'll tell you what. The Fountain of Combustion. I'll just drop it in here. Hopefully, we can take out a scary spider. But let's see if the zombie ends up being enough of a threat. Taking two plus damage, he's got pretty much... Well, actually, I think we had that last time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Alright, so let's do catnip, and then we should be able to deal four points of damage next turn if we do things right. The throw cat, yep, there it is. So he's still got some edge on us here, though. He's gonna block magical if I try to do it. So let's go for catnip again. He's getting some good draws here, unfortunately. I could stall this out for time. I think I'm going to have to. I'm going to need some really, really good cards right now. I think I have a catnip stored. So this will put me at... Tell you what, I think I need to do this, and then hopefully the scratch will be enough. I think I got it, yeah. Good, okay. I'm glad I kept that scratch for this last turn. That would have been bad. We got through that. That was pretty tough, but we got it. The stiletto, the sparkly headband gives us Holy Seal, which I was looking for. Let's go ahead and do that. Pretty good option. Tim Wood's got a, co a cool look to him. I like this guy. Ooh, but then we get Smite and Mind Strike from the Glyph. Pretty good for our offhand. I'll take it. All right, are we going down this way now or are we going to double back here? Yeah, we are going to double back. All right, well... I can fight a knoll, and I can throw a gold pouch down in here, and I suppose that'll do it. Wow. I hope gold pouch is poutable. I don't... I don't understand that one. I just have absolutely no clue. Alright, Tim Moore's feeling a lot better now. Holy Seal's gonna give us some extra health, and that does block his ability to make us discard, so... Pretty good start for the Holy Seal. He got a head blow, though. That's unfortunate. I guess we're just gonna have to take that one and... Hope it doesn't discard. Okay, well, that's not... That's not the worst. Let's go ahead and throw Cat. Getting down to four health. Get a pounce, and then we just... Gotta hope for something that'll hit. Okay, that'll work. Not bad. As long as we're staying alive, man, that's all that matters. The cooking pot again. Takes away smite, so maybe not. Tattered mail does not affect me. I don't have body, I guess. No, I do. I have a straight jacket giving me one health. But this gives me one health as well, in addition to repel and stupidity too. Hmm. Actually, Shimmering Cloak looks pretty good. Lose health, but gain Flame Lash and Focus, which are both pretty amazing. We'll go for that trade. And money! Amazing. Alright, that's it. No more need to play further. We get one large chest to collect, and it is sitting behind... The Bear Owl! The Furious Bear Owl! Oh boy. That's not good. Well... He's a heart ahead. Bad start. Uh, unblockable, so Holy Seal does nothing. Catnip is okay here. Gotta remember he's got Fury, so I can deal three points of damage and then... 
he'll have double damage. So that's what I'm worried about. I think I'm going to go ahead and holy seal this and stop the damage coming in. We can rekindle. I don't have a block anymore. Rekindle's not terrible here. Okay. And then I'd like to, yeah, let's go ahead and pounce. He did get the discard off, sadly. So he's down to four health now, but I gotta think that next time is gonna be difficult. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card and also discard a card, so this will negate itself. Alright, we're down to four, and he's still fury. Or he's still not furious. So this works. Okay, let's get the draw. We'll save Smite in case he deals some magic damage here, and he did not. And this is unblockable, so we totally got it! Nice! Okay, that was a tough one, but we ended up getting out of there alive. And I'm going to uh, dump off these in favor of the sword here. Not that it matters, because I believe this is the very end of the dungeon, but all the same. Hooray! Who'd have thought the way you fought you'd be so very brave? Now we need somebody else to fill this empty grave. 48 gold for the dungeon. Well done, Cat Burglar. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Guild of Dungeoneering. Hope you enjoyed it. Plenty more to come here on the Bear Taffy channel. Feel free to subscribe if you like what you see. New stuff usually going up every single day around here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video as well. Appreciate that a lot. See you next time.